Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I am going to say the story of Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Let's begin. Inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A long time ago, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the sun, moon, stars and earth. Soon he thought that his, in uh, his creation was incomplete. So he told the angels to go, uh, go to earth and collect clay. When the angels went and collected clay, he, Allah made a figure, a figure of a man. He named it Adam. The figure did not move and it stood still there in a duration of 40 long years. When Iblis saw this figure, he was totally confused and scared. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the spirit to uh, Adam alayhi salam. When Adam alayhi salam got the spirit to the head, he sneezed. When he when he get, Allah gave the spirit in his eyes, he saw all the beautiful things in the paradise. He saw food and uh, food and things lying around. Then the spirit reached Adam alayhi salam's stomach. He felt hungry soon. Then he, as he saw the uh, he saw a tree which was with fruits. He tried to jump before the spirit reached his legs. When he jumped, as his legs could not move, he fell down. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said all the angels, including Iblis, Iblis took uh, uh, Sujud Adam as a sign of respect. One by one, all the angels Sujud Adam. But Iblis did not do it. And he said that, I am better than Adam. And I am made from fire. And he is made from clay. Allah got angry about uh, Iblis' disobedience. And he banished him from paradise. Then, if, since that day, Iblis was called as Shaitan. And he was thrown into the hell. Shaitan was now very angry about the humans because he was banished from the paradise because of them. He thought to take revenge about misleading the humans. Allah taught Adam all the names of the animals. Then Allah uh, told to Adam that you can eat all the fruits from the trees except one tree and which was forbidden. The prophet was playing, was spending most of the time playing with animals. After a few years, he became lonely. Then, he, as there were no humans in the paradise, then when Allah saw this, he decided to give Adam a wife. When the prophet fell asleep, uh, he, Allah made the first woman. When he woke up, he saw the woman and he was very happy. And soon, he named her Hawa. Both Adam Salam and Hawa lived very happily in the paradise. Many years passed, then Shaitan came and Shaitan thought that they both must have forgotten the words of Allah. Shaitan approached them with a plan to banish them from the paradise. Then Shaitan came to the paradise and somehow made them to eat the forbidden fruits. They started eating the fruits. Before finishing, the, finishing eating the fruits, they realized that they have made a very big sin. They felt sadness and ashamed. They realized that Allah is going to punish them. And Allah got very angry and they were thrown out of the paradise. They were sent to the earth. They were sent to earth. They walked too long and they settled near a river. They realized that the life in earth will be very difficult. They don't have any luxuries enjoying the paradise. They worked really hard. First, they made a home and then they made food for living. Hawa, after a few years, Hawa gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. The, uh, Hawa na uh, they named the boy Hobbit. After a few years, again uh, Hawa uh, gave birth to twins. Again a twins. A boy and a girl. They named the boy Habil. Both Habil and Cobbin grew up. Cobbin started farming while Habil was a shepherd taking care of sheep. When Habil and Cobbin became adults, the prophet decided them to get married. Uh, since there were no other ladies in the earth, uh, the prophet decided that Habil to marry Cobbel's twin, while Cobbel to marry Habil's twin. Cobbel's twin sister was beautiful, while Habil's twin sister was not that beautiful. So, Cobbel was not that much happy, as and he wanted to marry his own sister. So, there was an argument, the, and the prophet, uh, to settle the argument, the prophet decided to uh, offer a sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whose sacrifice will be accepted by Allah will marry Cobbin's sister. Habil collected the best lamb of him to uh, offer the sacrifice. While Cobbin didn't want to give his fruits and best fruits and vegetables, while he gave the bad vegetables. And Allah accepted Habil's 
sacrifice and rejected Kabil's uh, sacrifice. In this way, the Prophet decided that Habil to marry Kabil's sister. But Kabil was angry and he decided to kill Habil. One day, Habil was late to return home. So the Prophet said to Kabil in search of him. Kabil went to the fields and he found Habil returning home. He, he, in, uh, he, being angry, Kabil said, your, your sacrifice was accepted while mine was rejected. Habil replied, Allah only accepts who, who fear him. Kabil was angry with this comment and he picked up a stone and hit Habil. Even though Habil was stronger than Kabil, Habil said that, he, uh, if, even if you stretch your arm to kill me, I will not... I will not harm you as I fear Allah. This comment made Kabil more angry. He struck the stone on him and instantly Kabil realized that his brother was dead. He, and he did not want his father to know about this. So he thought how to hide his brother's body. So while he was wandering, he saw two crows fighting each other. While fighting, while fighting each other, one crow dead. And it fell down. And while the crow fell, uh, while the uh, the crow came down and scratched the mud and made a hole in the ground. In this way, it buried the crow and filled it with mud. This gave Kabil an idea. And like the crow, he dug a hole. Then he buried it. He buried the dead body. This was the first burial of a man. Kabil became ashamed of what he has done, and he. Uh, thought that he could not, he should not return to his family. After some time, the prophet found what has happened. The prophet and he mourned that he has lost two sons. The prophet warned his other children about the shaitan. The, and he only and he told that only to obey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As time passes, the prophet had many more children. The prophet became older, but the and the children loved him very much. Then when the uh, prophet realized that he had become older, uh, that his death was near, he appointed one of his sons as a successor of his family. When he realized that the angel of death had come, he smiled and passed away peacefully. So dear friends, you, we, heard, we talked about the story of Adam alayhi salam and his family. We also knew about the first marriage, first killing and the first burial. We also know how badly the shaitan will mislead us for a bad life. May Allah protect us from shaitan. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem In this way I finish my story. Shukran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.